Thomas Highflyer was rescued from a slave dhow on the east coast of Africa. HMS Highflyer, a ship, was sent out to patrol along the east coast and they, while they were cruising along they came up across this slave dhow full of Africans taken away from their homes. And he was a very popular boy on board the ship, you know, and the, he was dedicated to the captain. And he was trained as a page boy, a servant. But when he came to Brighton, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, that lived in Great College Street, wanted him to be educated. And so they sent him to St. Mark's School. His health was failing. He was only 12 years old when he died. And he died of um, tubercular dropsy, which is the lungs filling up with water, which was a common thing in those days, especially with sailors. So he must have picked that up and bore the ship itself. We wrote to the bus company um, to ask if his name could, and they were fascinated by the story themselves, um, hence the name of bus after Thomas Flyflyer. To think of it, he died 100, 150 years ago, and today he's on a Brighton bus. I mean, a 12-year-old boy. So he traveled all over the world, and all of a sudden he's traveling all over Sussex. We had people texting in and writing in to us to say that they've seen the story. So yeah, he had a tremendous publicity, and everybody was so pleased. I was so excited when I hear because I feel so proud of it, coming from the West Indies and being a, an African, an African descendant. You feel very proud. It's part of our history, really, and I think it's important that um, he's, he's remembered. And it's, it's for the benefit of Brighton as well, to say how much Brighton cared about looking after someone. So getting this was special, I felt it was special.